Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! Link! Please take me to my body and stop doing these ridiculous side quests and getting rabbits and stuff! No! No, we're going... We're going to take Ferris over to Avoda Village. Your body can wait. <laughs> I guarantee you the game is programmed that we have as much time as we need. <laughs> Now here's something I never showed before though, is that when you do something, I should say do enough of something, that makes the passenger displeased with your performance, what'll happen is that the passenger will eventually reject you, and uh, then they'll go back to wherever location they were before, or they will um, go over to a different location or whatnot, and you'll automatically be transferred there. And I'm going to be using this to my advantage here, just to not only show you how this looks, but also um, as a little sort of kind of demonstration of that you can use this for speedrunning 100%, I suppose. <laughs> so I think just one more sudden braking will do, or hit on the... A hit on the train will do. Ah, help, stop! Is this your first time driving a train or what? I can't ride in this death trap. I'm heading off and going home. <laughs> Uh-oh. He left the train. Should we go back and get him? Yeah, so they can walk. <laughs> There's the proof. And in the, ca the case of Ferris, he goes all the way back over to the Wellspring Station. Uh, we will actually need to get... I wonder if I could pick up ice now. For well, Nah, I, I better not. It's probably going to melt. <laughs> so he's back in here, rather than the spot that was on the tracks uh, that I showed in the last part. Um, no offense, but that was terrible. If you ask me, your driving gets one star. I expected more from the top from the top student of the Alfonso. You must not have been giving it your all. Do you want to try again? Yeah, I'll give it my all. Then pull yourself together and let's go. Do 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 do. All right. <laughs> now this uh, letter should be the Beetle Club membership once again. Because remember I said that we would be getting that, um, because I had to rebuy the membership and whatnot, and I haven't been by a mailbox for a little while. Yep, there it is! Yes, 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 we re we, we've seen this dialogue before, but we must officially be recognized as a member before we can start getting the points and get that membership club back. There we go! <laughs> Delightful! Alright, you, you can, you have a good day. You have a very good day. So there it is in our collection. Our beetle, ship, beetle membership club is there. And might as well click on this just to tell uh, AOL here that we have uh, read our mail. Just so it doesn't think we have a new mail there. There we go. I went to the old folder. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to come back here for ice uh, with the side quests that I want to do and whatnot. Let's try to keep a level head this time. So shall we leave now? Yes. I will not purposefully try to torment the passenger this time. So yeah, they can have a little bit of extra dialogue that way, but oftentimes it's really inconvenient because it'll pop you back over to where the person was last located. So if we were to, say, take that bridge worker uh, back over to the... Uh, I mean, uh, if, if we were to anger the bridge worker, he would end up back on Linebeck Island. And that would have taken us back quite a while. <laughs> not, not all that useful, I saw. So I thought, hey, I would demonstrate this when we get a passenger that would uh, kind of speed up our travel route a little bit. <laughs> In this case, it's Ferris, which takes us all the way to the Wellspring Station. I just realized I didn't erase this little little side curve there. There we go. Now I do... Oh shoot. I do believe that I would like to, at least for the quickest route... Oh jeez. At least for the quickest route is to go through one of those two gates, one or two. I'm gonna have to check my rail map here as I forgot my markings as I was running around aimlessly. Okay, it's number two on there. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta go all the way over to there. Which means... I, oh yeah, I didn't slow down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm seriously not trying to do this on purpose this time. But anyway, it means that I'm going to be cutting ahead until I get to gate number two, I suppose. Happiness! Increase! Yay! Listen to the signs this time, which I blew up! <laughs> 
All right, we're coming over to gate number two now. This is so. This is the official cut over to it, not the point when I increased his happiness level. I just did that for the sake of like updating you on where he is and whatnot in terms of the overall happiness. And there we go. Once you get in range of that, the cutscene <laughs> was going to be attacked there. Cutscene will automatically activate, and you get pooped out. Why is it pointing me that way? That is, that is not a useful direction to go. Will you, will you turn me around if I do that? That would be very useful. Ah, uh, yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, alright, now I'll see you over at Aboda Village. Paying attention to those signs and blowing them up. Oh, of course, an alternate way to make your passengers angry is to let your train get hit a bunch of times, but, um, you know, there's a life bar over there, so your train probably will not outlast the passengers' uh, anger <laughs> at that rate, so... That's probably not the uh, warping method that you would prefer to use. <laughs> Alright, we are coming to a stop soon, 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 gently, gently, gently. Uh oh, oh shoot, he's not gonna be happy. Oh no! I passed the front edge. <laughs> I let myself drift too much. Too much. But we made it. Whew, we made it. <laughs> so this is where you're from? It's so peaceful here. It's the kind of place I can picture retiring in. Not that I could ever retire from the fast-paced life of chain photography. <laughs> and that is where Alfonso lives. The Alfonso! Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't believe I'm this close to such a mega celebrity! Oh man, I gotta get his like, autograph! Oh man, I'm so excited to meet him. Well, here I go! Just a little warning, he might be ornery. That Ferris is certainly very enthusiastic about trains. I never knew that Alfonso had fans. Well, I suppose it takes all kinds. <laughs> oh yeah, I still gotta do the Song of Discovery. I made some marks um, uh, by the trees here when I was back over here for side quests and whatnot, just to remind myself of that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're Alfonso. Yes, that's right, and uh... Who are you? Oh my gosh, I can't barely hear see my name. I'm Ferris, your biggest fan. I, I even have dreams about beating you. You're a living locomotive legend. Please, please, sign my belly. A legend? Me? Yes, you. The legendary engineer Alf Alfonso. And here you, here you are, standing right in front of me. I'm so excited. I, I might pass out. Smelling salts, please. Um, can I please have your autographs around my belly? Well, I don't know if I'm a legendary engineer, but back when I was a knight, people used to call me a legendary swordsman. Especially after I did 900 reps in sword training. That's the 900 thing that I uh, mentioned before when they would start calling you master at the... Uh, uh, sword training thing at Hyrule Castle. Are you sure you heard them right? Uh, are you sure they weren't actually saying legendary engineer? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was legendary swordsman. I'm not even sure this is, there is such a thing as a legendary engineer. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Well, this wasn't quite as exciting as I thought it would be. <laughs> at least I got to ride in that sweet chain of yours. So as my way of saying thanks, please take this. And the Force Gem appear his way over there for some reason, instead of on the, the body, or... So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, got little stretch tracks over the air. Oh yeah! I'm just gonna hang around here and photograph some trains. See you later! Woo! Uh, who was that guy? Well, I don't know. We never speak of this again. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to go to the rail map and mark down new tracks as usual. Now, you know, it's it's not really um, like any collectible or anything like that over there, but it's just something something to travel down that, to show you in the future, so I might as well do said marking. Oh, wait, wait, that's... that's not... hold on. No, 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 that... is that... is that the right place that's connected to the... Uh, because I thought I was able to go down that way before. Because, yeah, this is like... It's all the way... Uh, so, yeah, it's not that spot. It's this spot! There we go! <laughs> I was gonna say. I just... I just derped there. Alright, now for those trees. Now, we got the letter. Remember that? Way, 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 way,
over here. It was by... Uh, I think it was actually... Uh, no, no, it wasn't Ferris. Uh, Nico, was it? Yeah, there we go. So a palm tree over there and a palm tree over there. So I think this one right here is the first one that we play our Song of Discovery at. Because it's nearby this house. There isn't a tree up here, um, as indicated on that paper. So it's gotta be this tree. <laughs> well, I guess I should talk to uh, Ferris once again really quick as long as I'm gonna pass by there anyway. So alright. Here's another one of those obvious Song of Discovery locations where there's very few in the game, and we get the Pirate Necklace! Woo! Or some other random treasure. Alfonso is saying that there's no, no such thing as Legendary Engineer, but I don't believe that. There's gotta be one somewhere. Um, I'm kinda looking at him. I'm doing a pose here, but you can't see me behind the camera, but yeah. That's, that's me, Legendary Engineer Link, they call me. What? You don't believe it? Fine, fine. <laughs> so I guess the other tree, then, is probably this one, based on its position on that map. Well, whatever that was, it's like a treasure map of sorts, not, not so much a full map of the whole area, but... <laughs> so Discovery gets another one. <laughs> so I guess this place... It was like a pirate booty stronghold of some kind. They just buried their loot over there. Let's try it by this tree, just just for the heck of it. Because I, I don't think there's going to be anything here, because the other ones were marked and this one wasn't. It's like, it's a palm tree, I might as well try it. Nah, I didn't think so. Alright, the next place that I'm going to be heading off to is the Ocean Sanctuary, because there are those couple of stuff that I'd like to show now. So, let's cut ahead, and I can literally do that now, because I <laughs> kind of, uh, I'm kind of, kind of doing well here. <laughs> I don't have, to, don't have any sort of passenger uh, yelping at me, or having to recover their health, or, any, well, I mean, their, uh, uh, state of happiness, health, or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, so let's go! Why is there always pirates when I pass down this bridge? Like, every time I pass, they always appear in the, the, in the ocean just north of this bridge here. Like, every single time I pass this, that's just crazy. <laughs> I guess it's like a always spawn point or something like that there. Alright, Ocean Sanctuary as promised. Because I've got some stuff to get. And then I will now, I mean, then I will erase the return policy that's on the map there. <laughs> Alright, so as you see, I got a mark on the map that says bird with a... By the way, I, I noticed that I played the Song of Birds wrong before. Uh, yeah, there we go. It, so I, it wasn't two notes, it was a three note dealio. Yeah, that's why it was messing up. And then when I would play the other note after that, it would be like, oh yeah, you got it right now. <laughs> it's like accidentally playing the Song of Awakening because it's only two notes. And yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the treasure chest. We can open it. It contains uh, wood hearts. Wow. <laughs> I guess it's a... Uh, 50 rupee treasure, but still, but still, anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I doing? Not, no, no, not, uh, it's no song of discovery. <laughs> All right, and you take me to land once again after doing a loop, I guess. I'm sorry I'm straining you a little bit here, but I, I can't make it across alone. All right. <laughs> You can drop off um, when you're close to land like that, like when just just when the bird shadow is over the land, then your momentum as you're moving from the sky will take you onto the land. So yeah, as soon as you see the bird shadow cross over there, go right ahead and let go. Now you see bird stamp here. Let's go ahead. <laughs> purple, yellow, purple. Yeah. Uh oh, you're are you stuck? Uh, well, this might still work. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do this before, did I? No, I didn't. So here's the stamp station. Finally! And... There we go. And by the way, um, you're probably curious to see what stamps that I got on, uh... 
ye all day that I had to redo all sorts of stuff. I was gonna go to go for my uh, instrument again. I don't know. So stamp book. Now we flip through pages here. You can see when we get to the point. Yeah, there, there, there's a bit of a gap here. <laughs> Then I got a whole bunch of them during my trek to reclaim all the stamps that I lost in my... yeah. <laughs> so there we go. We got that stamp taken care of, and now we can go over to Papuchia Village. Shup, I went too much salt. <laughs> also, I should probably erase this stuff here just to remind myself that I got this. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, and this stuff too. This stuff has gotta go! There they are! Right on cue! <laughs> I was even facing the area knowing that they would come. <laughs> Just, why? Why? I mean, I guess it makes crossing the bridge a little bit more interesting than it would be otherwise, but still... But still, it's a losing battle fighting me on there, you shouldn't even try. <laughs> All right, I guess that's enough of a cut ahead because I just I just had to show it. They just keep popping up over there, and also as long as we're over here, yep, we have cleared this out like a pro. And this is the wrong location for that rabbit. It was more like over there, wasn't it? Something like that, not over the track. <laughs> bonus, 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 bonus. Okay, I'm done bonusing it. That that that's just. That would take me forever to get rupees out of those things. <laughs> Alright, so we're here at Papuchia Village. We want to set two things up. One of which is the fish lady. Not the one that wants to eat the fish. The one that wants to sell the fish. She's like, Lately it's been so hot that the fish spoil especially easily. The only thing that seems to help is having a lot of ice. Would you mind going to the snow realm and bringing some ice my way? I'd be so grateful. Sure. Really? That's great. About 10 chunks should do the trick. So now we have activated that side quest. Um, actually, let's see if you have any more dialogue. Any news on that ice I asked you for? Nope, I haven't even gotten a couple steps away from you. <laughs> the next place I'd like to visit now, and this is going to be really annoying to some, if you're really having some really bad luck or something, is over here. She's like, I'm sensing that you want to hear your fortune. Going to ask the questions. Yes, I'm going to blow into the microphone and hope that it registers. Yes, you did know that. It is, of course, Periwinkle. <laughs> and it, of course, is Jam. No, oh shoot, no shoot, not registering, not registering, oh shoot. Register for me, please, it's just, it's it's a simple button press. I'm trying to take this seriously, but you're, you're not, you're not, you're not taking my words of wisdom here. You took my other ones, dang it! <laughs> so destiny means it little to you, does it? Well, actually, and let us begin again. Astrological sign, come on, work for me this time, it worked before, you've seen it work before, because I got through this. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. Your astrological sign uh, it is blowing into the microphone. There we go! Ah, yes. The sign of an ingenious inventor. <laughs> Listen to the message of the stars. Ooh! A breakdown of trust will occur when you take people for granted. Always remember to express your gratitude. What you need for today is wisdom. Tell me, in recent days, have those around you been especially unlucky? Uh, we'll say yes. <gasps> yes, I thought so. I don't want to go through that microphone thing again if she makes me read to it. Oh dear, it seems you have a bad spirit following you. See, it's right over there. Ah, Zelda! Uh, oh, N never mind. The spirit will bring you unfathomable misfortune. Actually, she's been pretty helpful. Do you want to know how to get rid of it? Yeah, tell me. There are special vessels in this village. If you carry one, the bad spirits will depart and be replaced by good fortune. Are you interested? Oh yes! I have a vessel here that was made from the finest clay and water, and handcrafted by the maiden in the village with the purest hearts. Yes, it is a little pricey. Yep, scam artist, as I said before. But you can see for yourself that it is one of a kind. In the grand scheme of things, 10,000 rupees is nothing. <laughs> 
A person with such bad luck really shouldn't pass this up. Here, how does this sound? It's yours for 50 rupees. I'll take it! Now that you have this, your luck will be golden! Woo! So I got this rather, um... Well, it's actually not that expensive. So I <laughs> but it's, it's rather fragile. And, uh, one hit to your train will destroy it. Like, any hit from, like, a, a shot, you know, like, from a cannon or enemy or anything like that, it's gone. You have any other dialogue, by the way? I'm sensing that you want to hear your fortune. Nope, I guess you don't. <laughs> now, so, where... What are we supposed to take this thing to? It's not exactly clear. Well, I guess you're supposed to just wander around with it until you find what you need to take it to. But in the case of where you need to take it to, you must take it all the way to the Snow Sanctuary. Yes, the Snow Sanctuary. So what I recommend... I was gonna say... So what I recommend you do here is save your game occasionally. <laughs> and just, so, you know, sort of kind of cheese this because it's, it's a long way, even with the warp gate. And uh, things could get dicey. <laughs> <laughs> so, you might want to like stop at different locations and save your game and stuff like that. I'm just gonna start by saving over there now and have a go at it. And let's see how things go. This is one of those sorts of, sorts of things where you definitely want to do it later in the game because you have more of a grasp as to how the enemies react. Like their um, attack patterns, what they look like when they're gonna shoot. Um, their how often they shoot or attack or stuff like that, what their weaknesses are, and you know, basically so that you can defend your vase to the absolute fullest. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go ahead and go up to gate number two, but I think I'm gonna stop at Whittleton and save in case things go awry. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna bother saving at Linebex because Linebex is just, it's so, so close to where I started anyway, so. <laughs> now watch, I'll take a hit and then I'll have to restart anyway because I, I didn't save at, at Linebex trading posts. No, no. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. Oh no, I'll make sure of it if it's the last thing I do. So yeah, you wanna pay absolute. Close attention to your surroundings and the top map there whenever enemies appear and prepare to fend off anything <coughs> hiccup, excuse me, anything that will threaten your vase. Or vase. Potato, a potato, a tanko, tato. Stop it guys, stop it. I have a very fragile and probably scam induced vase here. <laughs> Just a scam motivated base here, and I am not going to let it break down. By the way, you can actually shoot the top of those um, those arches there. Let's see if I can do that, and it'll blow up. See that? Like it as if there's a gem there. It's like it's always there, but it's invisible until you reveal it at you know its corresponding gate, wherever that might be in the game's world. Now, remember I said to save at different, you know, varied locations, just to make sure that you get yourself set up, you know, gradually and whatnot. So, there you go, save your progress. Then, you'll be like, oh no, my vase is destroyed in the future. I mean, if you're like, oh, my fa vase is destroyed in the future. Oh no! And reload your, sta your save, and then you're, you're back over here. <laughs> That will work just as well. <laughs> it's going back to the beginning only, maybe better. <laughs> okay, probably better because it saves you time. Though maybe, arguably, it's not as legit. Maybe, could be, possibly, but it's. I guess it's more legit than using save states or something like that. Here, I will please the vase by blowing my whistle where the sign indicates just because... <laughs> I've made an offering to the vase. Everyone must worship the vase for it costed 50 rupees. And we are not going to lose such an important all. Oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 not, not, not now, not, not, not by the gates. Not by the gates. This is, this is possibly disastrous because I can't blow my whistle. I don't have to go back. Oh, okay, fine, I'll go back. I cleared the way, so I should be able to, okay. 
I was gonna say it's gonna offset my timing, and then some other enemy is gonna come, and then it's gonna be terrible. But no, no, we're okay. <laughs> All right, so the snow sanctuary is right over there, so we're close. And you know we still gotta find Mega Ice, so I'll I'll do that at the start of the next part by uh, cutting over there, like at the very beginning. But now that we're in the snow realm, we've gotta worry about snowmen. <laughs> So you might want to go save over at uh, Ye Ol' Anuki Village, maybe, because you know the snowmen are honestly probably one of the most unpredictably dangerous enemies in the game. <laughs> at least when, when it comes to chipping away at your uh, uh, train's chassis. <laughs> um, well, th things are going pretty good so far. But should I make a left and go to the village? I'll say... No, just for the sake of saving time. Okay, I don't mind you. Oh shoot, you're gonna try and steal my vase, aren't you? No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not getting that vase. That is my good luck vase. Oh! -ho -ho! <laughs> that was almost, almost the end of the run. <laughs> that really scared me because. I that made, really made me think I should have went to a Nuki village, but we're, we're, we're making it. We are. <laughs> we're gonna do it. <laughs> Holy mother of Arceus, that was close. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, I'm not sure how they wanted you to figure out that it's supposed to be here. You know, that you're supposed to take it here of all places, but this is where it goes. <laughs> Like, even Fortune Teller Lady doesn't tell you to take it here. And look at look at who's here! He's like, Ah, quite so, quite so. I put put it over to meet you and I heard the train! I'm looking to redecorate my sanctuary and I need a nice vessel! <laughs> and I see you have one aboard your freight car there. As it happens, that's just the kind I want! You must have read my mind! Will you let me have it? Sure! Oh, precious, precious vessel! Thank you very much, Link! Let's take it to my sanctuary right away! Do, 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 do. Are you going to teleport me there automatically? Yeah, thank you. Ah, oh, thanks for the vessel. I am a flurry with gratitude. That thing is actually pretty big. <laughs> Woo! That is a weird indicator of where I am on the map there. I'm like up in here. Yeah! Snow rail map started glowing. We got a warp gate up there to... Uh, Check out and what wait, maybe not a warp gate. Maybe it's actually a locate. Yeah, I think it's actually a location to explore Anyway, let's see what he has to say. Thank you. That vessel you brought is really something special Yes, it is and it only costed 50 rupees. You must be so happy It probably costed like 10 cents to make and with that <laughs> I'm gonna end off the part here I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part when we do a couple more side quests and whatnot in fact I might actually now that I think about it I might actually end up going and uh, going through these tracks over here because well well they're kind of sorta if ish on our way to the uh, getting ice over there and whatnot so I was like eh! Eh, might as well. I mean, otherwise I, just, I have to get iced and loop around here, then loop back around, take it to Papuchia. So yeah, I think that is what I shall do. Or will do. 